Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I want to show you how I choose jackets and coats for my capsule wardrobe for late spring and early summer. And I'm sure I can even use what I choose for the whole summer until I would say even late September. If you decide to buy a new coat or a new jacket after watching this video, I will show you what materials you should look for and which materials you should avoid. At the end of this video I will also share how I sell the clothes that I don't like anymore online, specifically on Facebook. When you're looking at your coats and jackets, it's important to think about the material. It really depends where you live. I live in Switzerland and right now it can be quite warm but also quite chilly depending on the weather. So I need to have in my wardrobe at least one coat, preferably a trench coat, that I can use also as a raincoat and two jackets. I will aim at three pieces for my jackets and coats and that's the maximum. It makes me a bit nervous because <laughs> I have much more. So let's get to the coats and jackets and I invite you to leave your comments below and let me know which coats or jackets you think I should keep in my capsule wardrobe for late spring, early summer. This is my favorite coat. I bought it when I was pregnant with Chloe Sophia so that I can wear it even though my belly was growing and it worked well. I still wear it because it's very comfortable and I like the cut. I think it is flattering and the length is perfect. I can wear it with both skirts and pants and it's a perfect raincoat. I would like to show you socks that I got from my favorite Swiss fashion designer Pascal Corno and they are made from recycled material. And these are socks that I like to wear also in summer because they're perfect for my rain boots. Here you can see that the coat goes well also with a more formal look such as this one which is something that I would wear to work. And the blouse is made by a Swiss designer, Abe Seind. I like her tops and blouses because they're made sustainably and they're made ethically. The artisans are fairly paid and it is made in Vietnam. My favorite long trench coat, as you can see, it's very easy to wear, it's nice with both formal shoes like these black ones as well as with sneakers. It looks nice practically with anything. And this uh, scarf is made also by Pascal Corno. She made the socks that I wore before and she's an ethical Swiss designer and I like her clothes and I have several other pieces from her that you will see in my wardrobe. This jacket is a jacket that I got uh, at least seven years back. I like it but I find it's too tight around my chest area so it will go down to the basement or I will give it to someone who is one size smaller and can find a use of for that. This jacket is my favorite, like a parka rain jacket. It's light, it's perfect for summer, but I feel somehow uh, I outgrown it. I feel like this is not my style anymore, so I will not keep this jacket. Denim jackets are my favorites for summer because they're very easy to wear. They're flattering, they're chic, and you can dress them down, dress them up. You can do anything you want with them. They will keep you warm and they're perfect for the weekends. 
I like this leather jacket but because it's made of leather and leather is not a sustainable material unless it's certified or second hand I will not keep it in my wardrobe I wonder what to do with it because I don't want to throw it away because then it will finish in a landfill so um, I will uh, put it in my basement and I will decide what to do with it maybe someone will want to wear it I have had it for 10 years it's in a great condition so if anyone is interested please let me know but I will not keep it in my closet so um, originally I wanted to have three jackets in my capsule wardrobe that was the plan since I'm not keeping this leather jacket in my capsule wardrobe I will look for an alternative such as Pinatex material because Pinatex is a, you can call it a vegan leather it's a material that is made of pineapple leaves so it is vegan it is no, it has nothing to do with animals and it is biodegradable When you're looking for a new coat, check the material. It's important to make sure what's the lining and the outer part made of. For example, here you can see that both the outer part and the lining is made of 100% organic cotton and that you can wash this coat. That means that it's very practical and you can take care of it at home. Not to mention that it's always better to choose organic cotton over regular cotton. On the other hand, here we have a coat which I really like and I was interested in it because of the material. It is made of tensile leocell, which is one of the sustainable materials which are very popular now. The outer shell, the outer part is made of 60% tensile leocell, 40% cotton, which is okay, but the lining is 100% polyester. And you cannot wash it and you should just dry clean it. That means that it will be quite expensive to take care of this coat and polyester is a material which is really unsustainable it's not good for the environment because every time you wash it small micro particles which are called microplastics get released into the environment and they affect animals and also us humans and the whole and the whole nature so if you can just avoid polyester whenever possible and for this reason i didn't order this coat but on the other hand I really like the green coat so I ordered it I will try then I see if it suits me I will keep the coat um, if not I will go to a second hand and I will look in a second hand for a new coat so as you can see here are two coats that I'm keeping because they fit me well and they are practical and versatile and the green coat is on my wish list. Now, what to do with things that you don't want to keep at home anymore? One of the options is to sell it online. I think uh, Facebook is a really user-friendly and an easy way how to proceed. As you can see, it takes probably five minutes, not even. You just need to take a photo and then you create an ad. I use the marketplace. It's very quick and very simple. You also need to fill in the description. You write down where you are, which category you're listing this item in, and then you just post it and you wait if people are interested and if they are then you will just send it to them only or you give it to them in person and they will pay you i think it's a i think it's a very practical and easy way to share pre-loved clothes 
that are in a great condition and I have a girlfriend that does it very often both with hair with her clothes and also with the clothes of her son and, and, she, and she inspired me to do the same. Let me know in the comments below which coat you think I should have kept in my capsule wardrobe. I'm very curious to find out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, click like, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. And I'll see you again next week. Bye!